Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. So guys, as you could probably see, I've just woken up. Um, but I saw some news yesterday, which I wanted to do last night. Uh, normally, I, I do the videos in the night, but I was just so tired yesterday. And I, I couldn't put it up. But I've seen some interesting news, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is a very interesting character. One thing Tyson Fury gets... Um, you know what Tyson Fury get you know people think he's very he's he contradicts himself and there's a perfect example here uh of him contradicting himself a couple of days ago I made a video saying that Tyson Fury said he's worried about Joshua fighting Usyk he's more worried about him taking on Wilder uh, he's sorry he's more worried about Joshua taking on Usyk than he is him taking on Wilder because he thinks he'll get the job done against Wilder and he thinks that AJ potentially could struggle against uh, Usyk. Couple days later, I actually saw the interview with Seconds Out Radio Rahim. Tyson Fury actually said that Alexander Usyk is not a, is not a heavyweight. He says he felt Derek Chisora beat him, and he thinks that Anthony Joshua will destroy. Alexander Usyk and walk straight through him. Now, a couple of days ago, he said, well, Alexander Usyk handled Derek Chisora and Derek Chisora is a lot stronger than Anthony Joshua. Now, obviously, we as boxing fans know that Derek Chisora isn't better than Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua has a better skill set he probably punches harder. He's got, he puts com combination punches together better. He's technically more sound. Um, there's, a, there's a lot more things that Anthony Joshua does better than Derek Chisora. That's why Anthony Joshua wins uh, at the top level and Derek Chisora comes up short because, you know, Derek Chisora hasn't got the skills of an AJ. However, one thing that Derek Chisora does have, he can punch and he is, he is in my opinion, got a better chin. He takes a better shot. Uh, he recovers better. He recovers faster from taking a shot. And you know, even if you're a, a gatekeeper, which I don't really like hailing Derek Chisora because Derek Chisora has been unlucky in some of his fights, uh, especially the Parker one. And Parker's a former world champion, and you can really make a strong case of Derek winning that fight. But most people call Derek a gatekeeper in the heavyweight division. Now, a gatekeeper doesn't mean that you're you're not going to have a good chin. And a guy that's a champion has a better chin. No, because Derek Chisora has a very, very relentless style. You know, he's like a pressure fighter almost. He's a pressure fighter. He, he's on your chest. Um, and with that kind of style, you have to have a good chin. And Derek Chisora definitely does have a good chin. Uh, Joshua, he's a bit more vulnerable. But obviously, just because you got a, a good chin, that doesn't mean that you're going to go and win a world championship. Your skill set is what wins you world championships. And we all know that Joshua's Olympic gold medalist. He's got very high. He's got a very good skill set. I'm not going to say his boxing IQ is unbelievable. He's got a good boxing IQ. Uh, but there are flaws. There are, there are things that he does which, you know, can be still... He still can work on his game. Um, and, he's, and he has got... I feel like... I feel like Anthony Joshua has got a great skill set. Um, but there are vulnerabilities there and flaws there that are not so much to do with his boxing IQ, just that things that he can't really, I, I don't think he can control and things that naturally will happen when he's, when he's fighting and that's stamina. See, J Joshua is probably the most hardworking athlete there is, but stamina seems to be an issue. Uh, and obviously when he gets hit, you know, sometimes he gets hurt and it, it seems like it takes him long to recover. So those things, I don't believe you can work on. They're going to stay with him. He just has to manage it better. He just has to not get into those kind of situations that, you know, where he's in a vulnerable like he was with Ruiz. He can't afford to get into those situations. So that's why you're seeing a more circumspect and a more um, careful Joshua when he fights now because he doesn't want to get himself into those situations and he knows if he has a firefight with a fighter there's a good chance that he may find himself in those positions so Joshua is trying to avoid getting himself in those positions which I think is probably the best thing for him to do but let's come back to what Tyson Fury Tyson Fury right I don't know how a guy can in a couple of days unless he was misquoted the first time I don't know how a couple a guy in a couple of days can change his opinion now I don't know whether he's doing this just to get into AJ's head. 
So AJ's kind of scrambled and like, okay, what am I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how he'd get into AJ's head in the first place by saying that anyway, because I think AJ doesn't really care about what Tyson Fury said. And AJ's already cottoned on. AJ's already cottoned on to what um, Tyson Fury is doing, because I remember him giving an interview a couple um, a couple mo weeks ago or months ago. I can't remember when it was, but he basically said that I know what Tyson Fury's game is. He's trying to take away credit for my performances and me. Um, and I think that's what he's probably trying to do here. And I'll tell you why. For me, this is a legitimate test for Anthony Joshua. And I've, and I've openly said I feel he could lose this fight. Usyk is a very, very skilled fighter. And I've even gone as far as saying this would be the best win on Joshua's resume. Because Alexander Usyk is a top five pound for pounder. He's a very, very skilled fighter. Probably the most skilled fighter Anthony Joshua is going to fight uh, in his career so far. I know people say Klitschko, but Klitschko was old. Uh, and also Klitschko had shown vulnerabilities in his career prior to that. Uh, Usyk hasn't shown any vulnerabilities. Usyk has shown that he's a, you know, he's a legit top five pound for pounder. You know, he's unbelievable the way he dominated the cruiserweight division. He's come up and he's beat Derek Chisora. Uh, and now he's looking to go straight on to Anthony Joshua. And Usyk uh, is, has got a mentality of a winner. So I just think all of those things combined, I just don't, and his movement, his skills, of course, inside a boxing ring. I just don't see this being a very easy fight for Anthony Joshua and one that I believe he can he can easily lose. But I think, I think Fury knows that as well. I think Fury knows that as well. But I think what Tyson Fury is trying to do is trying to put pressure on Anthony Joshua because Tyson Fury well knows that this could be a very tough fight for AJ. And I actually think what he said the first time was what he believed. Uh, but I think he, what he's trying to do is probably... See, see, look at the stuff that Tyson Fury said about even Wilder. And I'll make a separate video about that where he says Wilder would knock Joshua out in a round. The reason why Tyson Fury is saying that is trying to big himself up because he knows that Ty he knows that he's beaten Deontay Wilder. So he's trying to increase Deontay Wilder's... He shouldn't say, oh, you know what? Deontay Wilder's an unbelievable heavyweight. He's this, that. Which Deontay Wilder is. Deontay Wilder is one of the best heavyweights out there. But Tyson Fury is trying to make Deontay Wilder even better than what he is because it makes him look better. And he's trying to diminish Alexander Usyk. So if Joshua was to beat him, right, then... You know, he will say, oh, well, he was a pumped up cruiserweight. Now, if Joshua was to struggle to him or lose to him, and then Tyson Fury would say, I told you Joshua wasn't that good or he's a hype job, whatever, right? So it's kind of a way for me, Tyson Fury, to, you know, to to get to AJ. I don't think it's going to work. And like I said, the real boxing fans know that this is a very tough... I listen, there are a lot of boxing fans that think that Anthony Joshua walks straight through Alexander Usyk. I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. Just because Alexander Usyk's a cruiserweight, that don't mean... Look, he couldn't walk through Andy Ruiz. I know Andy Ruiz is a big guy, and he is, you know, but he's, a, he's, not, a, he's not a tall guy. You know, he couldn't walk through Parker, and Parker's not a big guy. For me, Anthony, uh, Alexander Usyk would walk... Uh, Alexander Usyk would beat Parker easily. Especially uh, the way Parker's been performing of late. I think Alexander Usyk would beat... Parker comfortably and Anthony Joshua didn't beat Parker comfortably went the distance uh, I, you know Joseph Parker has a similar kind of body structure to Alexander Usyk I believe he's 6'3 Alexander Usyk 6'3 I don't believe Parker's that big a heavyweight absolutely not and yet he went the distance with um Anthony Joshua just with movement he uh, jo um, Joseph Parker in that fight was never nimble of feet. He was very fast. And Joshua struggled to land cleanly on him because, you know, I felt like Joseph Parker was making him miss but wasn't making Joshua pay. Uh, but the problem is the referee didn't let Joseph Parker work on the inside. And at that time, I think Joseph Parker's confidence was very high as well because he was undefeated. He hadn't been beaten. So Joseph Parker was obviously feeling himself. He was obviously very confident he was going to go in and beat Joshua. After that, I, don't, I just don't think Josh, Joseph Parker's ever been able to recover mentally from that fight. Because ever since that, to be honest, I'll say after the Takam fight, every time I've seen Joseph Parker, I feel like for me, his stock has decreased. I, I've just never been impressed. He hasn't put in one good performance. Yeah, after that, what I can't even think of a one good performance that he's put in after that. Like, look at the uh, Huey Fury fight. He was a super, like a, a big favorite in that, and a lot of people thought he lost. Then he fought um, Anthony Joshua, and that was a stinker. 
and he didn't that wasn't really a great performance then he thought Dillian White and lost that when he was a favorite you know he's just and even a junior far recently before the Tajora fight he didn't look great then the Chisora fight he didn't look great he's just not been looking good Parker um so yeah and that was a guy that Tyson Fury said would beat Anthony Joshua you know so I, I think personally, this is some kind of like mind games um, from Tyson Fury saying that he doesn't believe Alexander Usyk's not a, a, a heavyweight. I, I'm pretty certain somebody, Tyson Fury is a very intelligent guy. Don't get it twisted. Tyson Fury, he's the most intelligent heavyweight out there. He knows that Alexander Usyk, what kind of threat he brings. I'm pretty sure he does. He knows that Alexander Usyk brings a serious threat to any heavyweight, apart, apart from probably himself. Apart from Tyson Fury, just because Tyson Fury is very elusive and very big. Uh, the thing is with Joshua, he's not as big as Tyson Fury. And there are a lot more flaws in his game, vulnerability-wise. And I, I don't think Anthony Joshua is as fast, as nimble as feet. So, you know, Usyk could look to pickpocket him, you know, just look to hit, hit and move, hit and move, hit and move. But Joshua is the bigger guy, he's got the longer reach. So by doing that... Joshua is a lot faster than what people think. Even when he throws his combinations, he is quite fast. Again, if Alexander Usyk shows that he's got a great chin, right? And he takes those shots, then like I said, Joshua could be in for a long night. But Usyk does come across somebody that is very tough, is very durable, and he's going to have a... And so far, it's on a, a fairly good chin. You know, even against Bellew. Bellew caught him a, a few times and he just shrugged it off. He didn't even affect him. So... I, I am interested to see this fight. I actually think this is going to be a lot better than what people think. I think this is going to be a lot closer than what people think, by the way. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this Usyk-Joshua fight. And I'm, I don't know why it's not been announced yet. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure the announcement must be in, imminent, hopefully this week. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.